these? I like these. I'm excited. I'm happy again, y'all. Look at it. Mm. Oh, look at that black, y'all. Happy Tuesday. I didn't vlog yesterday. Can I do? <laughs> Hi, welcome to Culver's. What can we make delicious for you? I don't get it. I hope they put ketchup on these burgers instead of. I really don't get it. I told them too. my funny ass bestie <laughs> hey yo busy day the dress that i started on today i had my client come over so i can um put the applique on her um so we did that and then Oh, well, they do too much with these phones. But they got like a thing on here. Oh, my God. To let you know if your screen's straight. Look. You see the line? Yeah. What the hell? Like, what? They do too fucking much. These updates and everything. But, yeah, y'all, let me show y'all what I got. They do a masquerade theme. And... This is it right here. This is what it's looking like. I got to pin it. I mean, not pin it, but I got to sew it down. And then tomorrow I'm going to start another dress too. Just finished cooking. Mac and cheese and chicken. Now we watching something on TV. Today Friday, y'all. Y'all look at how beautiful nature is. Like the branch or the stem trunk of the tree. You got the red in there. Beautiful. Hey y'all, let's talk about it. So I was telling y'all like a thousand times in my last week vlog that my face been breaking out. And y'all, I never experienced nothing like this. So, um, y'all know I had to go look some stuff up, right? Basically, like in your late 20s, some females break out and get hormonal acne. If I'm saying, yeah, her, her <laughs> I said it right. Y'all know what I said the first time. But, yeah we get that and i think i just joined the club but i'm not claiming it because no but that's what i have basically hormonal acne is like acne that forms like down here in the jawline and the cheek area so y'all y'all know i had to do my research they were saying spearmint tea 
um, helps. They also said celery juice. Y'all, I don't like celery, period. But anything to keep my face clear, because my, as you could tell, like this part, like this hot part of my face is nice and clear. You know what I'm saying? But the bottom half and the, the girl that I go to, that I shop and get my natural skincare from, she also told me that it's hormonal acne because I use her skincare and I had was asking her like, what can I do for this? So she recommended um, some tea for me. Um, and y'all, I also did my own research. I just left Jules because when I looked online, they was the only one who sells celery juice. So y'all look at what I'm doing because I need my skin to be where it needs to be. So I got some organic uh, celery juice. Let me show y'all. You can't even see where I'm at with it, but yeah, disgusting. I, I started, I'm, let me see if y'all can see. Like look, I started it and I'm in here like, yeah, it's disgusting, it's disgusting. Ooh. I was um, holding my nose with it. Oh, man. But I'm pulling that up at Wally World. I'm gonna go in here, I needed some tissue. I need to get a couple things from around the house um, and a couple things for a client. That's where I'm headed. Y'all, oh my God, I was praying this morning. I love to pray in the car. Um, hold on, let me park real quick. Love praying in the car, so I was praying this morning, and as I was praying, a license plate somebody with the license plate in front of me it has said, I owe God. I'm like, wow, that is crazy, it's mad dope. Like, to me, I'm steady seeing signs, like, yo, I love my God, but I'm finna try to last cold. I'm gonna try to finish this before I go in here y'all this is so nasty and i need to try to get me like a little hold in my i think it's gonna fall but And I guess it's good for something because ooh, <clears throat> this was the last one. But I think, did I tell y'all they squeeze lemon in here too? And I think that makes it a little better, but this shit is nasty. But I'm gonna um, try to keep y'all updated on this, okay? On this um, process, on this journey or whatever. But let me run in here. Oh, I'm almost done, y'all. I'm glad I brought this straw with me. Yo, I got... I'm working on back-to-back -back orders. Like, this beginning, like, these first two weeks of October, I got nine orders right now. And October is, like, what? Tomorrow or something? Or is it today? I don't know. And it's currently probably, like, nine, ten. I think it's nine something. But... Yes, I got hella orders. Hella, hella orders. Because, oh, y'all, I really need my face to clear up because this is not it. And then I was looking up and they were saying it randomly hit you late 20s. Like, why? I don't want to. It's a big glass, too. I mean, big bottle. This shit nasty. And they also was saying, like, um, if you drinking, like, 
like milk and like dairy products, like milk and cheese and shit like that. They say try to not, I ain't gonna say don't eat it at all, but try to eat less of it basically. So yeah. Ooh. This here, I should have been done, but it's like I just can't. I'm almost there though. We're finna go to Walmart though, y'all. Y'all, it's actually 9.27. But yeah, I'm finna go to Walmart. Hola, people. Y'all, let me talk about it real quick. So, y'all, I just um, finished up with a client. And, man, y'all, Monday, I went to drop off the package, the Beyonce package, right? So, it should have been to her yesterday. And she needed tomorrow. So, y'all... Um, I've been calling around trying to figure out like what's going on with it and they told me that it's already left the facility and it's on its way to Kansas City. It'll be to her and it's going to arrive at the post office. But man y'all, I didn't send it through the post office. I sent it through UPS. So that didn't make sense to me. So then like they gave me a tracking number but the tracking number is not tracking you know what i'm saying like it's not it's just it's not saying anything like it's saying like it's still processing so meaning like is y'all just scanned it and is it still here at the location that i dropped it off to so i'm headed up here now to see but if it is that is so stupid to me because like why didn't y'all email me be like oh ma'am we still have your package there's an issue or there's a problem going on whatever the case might be but y'all this is pissing me off because my client should have had her stuff she's going to the beyonce concert and she need her shit like this is crazy like i really don't i'm i don't get it but yeah, I'm up here trying to see what's going on with it now. So, y'all, I'm back at home. I've been back home for a minute. I'm cooking right now. Let me show y'all. Got some bell peppers and onions. We got some broccoli back here. We got some shrimp marinating on the side. We got the potatoes, homemade potatoes. Y'all know how I got the jerk chicken and the um, refrigerator marinating. This looks so good. Yeah, I know this motherfucker is not gonna be good. About to make me some tea. Oh my god, this is so cute. I did not know it had this down here. And just grab them from right there. But y'all, y'all already know that. I didn't even turn it on. What? Girlies on TikTok say that helps with hormonal acne. So, yeah, we finished right out. I don't tell y'all how it work, y'all. But that top of that skin just glowing. Like, look at it. And then down here, the scarring. No. No. 
We ain't for none of that. We finna try to clear this up, okay? But y'all, food, dinner was good. I am in here working. Let me show y'all. I'm working. I'm up front working today because when I be working in the back, it be too hot out there now when I have the door closed because baby back there sleeping. But yeah, I already cut out that part. But yeah, y'all, that's what's going on. I just want to check in. Let me tell y'all what time it is. 5.56. So yeah. Y'all, and if they got cute little messages on each one. Each one is different, y'all. This one say, there's pleasure in the path. Hold on. I'm trying to let it focus. Hold on, my client called. Hold on. Hey, babes. Rich Rising. Happy Saturday. So, last night I stayed up till like 12. Um, I finished the little cutout for the outfit. I'm uh, My plan is to finish it today. But, y'all, I just wanted to talk about entrepreneurship for a little bit. Y'all, it is not for the week. Y'all, it be so much stuff going on. Like the little situation yesterday with my client end up having to, like, so the package, I don't think I ever finished telling y'all the story. The package was basically left at the location that I dropped it off at. I'm just you know, thinking that they are telling me the right thing or whatever. So, um, I end up giving all the information to my client so she can call because I've, I've been busy, like really busy. So I was giving her the information so she can call and check on it as well. And I was doing the same, you know, trying to see. So they told her other information, basically told her that the, um, they don't know how they gave me the tracking number to a USPS location um in kansas city because the package never left the location that i dropped it off at never told me that i actually went back up to the spot the package was there so i had to go and take it to fedex because i'm not fucking with ups no more because that was just so crazy to me like how could y'all forget to not ship off somebody package that they dropped off y'all scanned it and everything like that was crazy like it set up there for the whole week i melted off monday piss me off but anyways so we figured it out and we end up since it was saturday we end up having to pay 125 dollars for overnight shipping but i got the price down um because it was like 125 i guess if you use your own packaging or whatever like that so i got it down to um i asked the lady i'm like why is it so high is it because it's literally overnight next day she was like it's because it's saturday and also because is in your own packaging she was like i could see if i could put it in our packaging to get the price down so she put it in their packaging and it was like um 102 dollars just to get it there overnight y'all and i was so sad because my client she was willing to pay because she really wants her her product and even though it wasn't my fault my client she she was very understanding and it was it just hurted my heart because it's like I did everything that I could, and y'all, my client wanted her shit. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah. I forgot to tell y'all the story yesterday, but yeah, that's what I came on here to tell y'all. Well, I didn't come on here to tell y'all that, but I actually came on here to tell y'all, but entrepreneurship is not for the week. Running a business is not for for the week. Like, y'all, when I say stuff like that happen, you got to try to keep your cool and you gotta try to like you gotta hope that you that's why everybody every customer isn't for you you know what i'm saying like i had a client um recently that constantly constantly just kept calling my phone like she just kept calling kept calling kept calling kept calling and basically saying the same thing and i was saying the same thing back to her and it was like you know you try not to be rude because this is the business and you know but it's like like, it'd be like, you have to deal with a lot of stuff. And now, y'all, I actually finished the white dress that I was telling y'all about, right? So, my client and my niece is the exact same size. Their measurements was the same. So, I went to that new fabric store, right? And look, y'all, this is the back of the dress. I don't want to show y'all too much because I'm posting this video. It kind of really don't matter. But, um, yeah. 
this is this is the material that I got from that new fabric store that was so rude to me, like didn't speak when I came in, right? Super see-through. It's like I noticed it when I was doing it, but I didn't think that it was actually gonna be like that thin. So I have to take this apart. Yeah, pissed me off a little too. So I gotta take this apart and do this whole back over because I just can't have my client out there. The front I already don't have any coverage. So I don't want her to be out like that. So I have to take that completely apart and luckily, I had some scrap. Let me just scrap. I'm going to go ahead and iron it. And this is all I have left. So I'm going to have to work with this because I'm not going to be able to make it to the fabric store. So she's coming today. She's coming from um, Springfield. Y'all, this bump, I haven't busted. It's going down. I don't want to leave more marks and stuff. But my client coming from Springfield. And I'm trying to keep my... Because y'all not going to keep looking at that because I don't want to. But... She coming from Springfield, and she said she's leaving at 9 o'clock in the morning. She's going to make it out here at like 12 something one. So, I got time to go ahead and redo that. But this is what I'm saying, y'all. Like, stuff like this happens with running a business. And you just got to be prepared for it. Because I love it here. You, you run into some wild, crazy stuff. But, yeah, I love it here. Um, and this weekend is going to be at in-house chilling with bae working still and they bring it home home of the hoagie ah, y'all know i'm thirsty as hell i told him i'm gonna be ready baby i said i'm gonna be in this bitch high and ready sitting at the table sitting my sitting right here let me eat it <laughs> no seriously like i can't wait they just open back up if y'all haven't tried to make sure y'all go get y'all one of those but i'm gonna get to work mm -hmm. Y'all, I'm a little sad. It's currently 1.30. Um, so, me and mom was telling y'all I was working on the dress or whatever. I had to redo the back of it or whatever. So, y'all, I did that. And as I was doing it, my scissors cut a small piece of the mesh. And... I mean, there's nothing I could do. I fix what I can, but it is not as noticeable. But I don't know, y'all. I'm going to show y'all. This is it right here. And it's right on the front. Really pissed me off. But hopefully she be okay with it if things happen. You know what I'm saying? But that's the dress. It's so yeah, y'all, I'm a little sad about it. I'm finna hop in the shower. I think I'm gonna bust this bump now. I didn't want to touch it. I wanted to, to do what it wanted to do on its own. I'm gonna have to out the shower, fresh face, fresh mouth. I'm finna um run to the store. I mean, run to the gas station. Grab me a swisher. I need to straighten up before my client get here. So. Yeah, thickums. Y'all, I haven't had it in a while. Had to grab me some. And I got a good bag of hot stuff. Look at they saucy. Y'all, I really hate that that happened to that dress because... Um... It threw off my whole mood and... I'm still waiting on my client. And I just feel like I ain't gonna feel better until I know how she feel about it. Yeah, I'm happy. My client just left and yeah, she tried it on. Did not notice at all. So I didn't say anything right away because we had ended up talking when she had first got in here about what she was doing for her birthday. Then she went to try it on and I kind of forgot about it because I didn't see it at all. It's like literally like, that was like right here. So you can't really tell and I sewed it up as good as I could. And y'all, so once I bagged it up and gave it to her, I had was like, I feel like I should let you know because I don't want you to get back and notice you know I gotta tell you I'm like it's like a little small cut but I stitched it up as good as I can you know what I'm saying 
So, ooh, and y'all, my skin is glowing. I still, I told y'all I was gonna try to bump that, but I'm, I'm gonna try my best to leave it alone. But yes, I'm excited again. My energy is restored. <laughs> Seriously, y'all, I be like, I'm a freak about my work. Like literally, I am a freak about my work, but I'm excited. I'm happy again, y'all. But I am probably finna relax. Bay here, he went to sleep and took a nap or whatever. He brought home on a hoagie and I'm finna go try to, while he sleep, I'm finna try to um get a little more work done and then I'm eat my food because there's no way that he gonna eat his food while I already ate mass. Like, no, nah, we don't play like that. So we gonna eat together. Because I don't want a big, and I know I'm a big because mask gonna be gone. You feel me? So yeah, I'm finna go ahead and go back to work. I look so good. Oh my god, y'all! I changed my mask. I can't wait. I'm hungry now. Look at it. Mmm. Mmm. I can't wait. Y'all, I ain't got my camera up here to show, let y'all see me take a bite, but I'm finna enjoy, okay? Okay, I'll be back. I'm gonna call y'all back, all right? <laughs> y'all wish y'all had one of these. <laughs> oh, mother hoagie. Mm, looks so good. I'm so excited. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm so excited. I'm finna go crazy. Mm. Yeah, I'm gonna be so salty when baby hears later, but I'm definitely enjoying this moment right now. I had a client on the way when he brought it home. She was literally like 10, 15 minutes away. So I'm like, I'm just wait till she come before I try to enjoy this, you know what I'm saying? And he fell asleep. He had to work today. I know I can't y'all can't see me, but this is so good. We got a little hint of spice, but it ain't too spicy. Yeah, my storage full on my phone. So this is it. But y'all, I'm tasting the sweetness, a little spicy. Um, the softness from the bread, the cheese. It's just like, mm, mm, mm. <laughs> I did it again. I think Bay said the wait was two hours. I'm gonna talk to y'all later. Hey y'all, happy Sunday. I'm working. So y'all, I said my bestie this 30 day plank challenge and y'all know she's a gym girl. So she was on it instantly and some me this video is like check in so y'all already know i had to do mass first day was literally only 20 seconds and y'all i haven't been in the gym at all i ain't gonna say it was hard or nothing but y'all i'm excited me and my bestie finna do bestie <laughs> videos that's my main goal i'm so excited i gotta catch up though but if y'all want to join us join us send me y'all's on social media